for your mental health report today. A fascinating new study is out in the journal Neuron. It looks at how people change their opinions based on group think. Does that packed mentality really cause all of us to alter our views? Possibly. Let's find out more about the research and bring in our CNN.com colleague here, producer and writer Elizabeth Landau. Elizabeth, nice to see you. Thank you. Nice to see you too. Appreciate it. So this is the neuroscience of conformity. Uh, let's break that down so we all understand it, so we can press our friends at the dinner table or you know our colleagues a little bit later in the office. Uh, it's it's basically a, a group mentality that influences the way you think. So you may think it's blue, but everybody else around you is saying it's red, so you go with red as the answer. That's right. Basically, people have a tendency to go with the group opinion, especially if they're kind of on the fence about it. And um, the new study looks at people's perceptions of beauty, and you know, the, everybody was asked to rate 22, sorry, 222 faces mm -hmm. uh, from 1 to 8 on um, you know, how beautiful they are. And at first they said one thing, and then after they spoke to the researchers a bit, the researchers told them what the average rating was, those people actually shifted the rating towards the average. Now this research was done again with perceptions of what we consider beauty, beauty in the eye of the beholder, but this holds larger uh, ramifications when you think of a group mentality that will take place in a committee meeting here at CNN.com, at, at your workplace, or perhaps even on a jury. Absolutely, and basically the point is that it takes not only a lot of courage, but you're sort of going against your own brain processes to be able to say you're wrong, mm -hmm. that is incorrect. Even if, if there's a black and white situation, it actually goes against brain signals to be able to be that one person who goes against the grain. We're wired to want to be uh, with everybody in, in the way we think. We don't want people thinking we're wrong or outsiders. Exactly, and in fact there's an evolutionary reason for that when you think about, you know, um, tens of thousands of years ago when people were in the wild and um, you had to, you know, fight for your life against predators, it was safer to be in the pack than to wander off on your own. Okay, so you're doing this research. You've spoken, I know, to uh, a, a medical expert at Emory University here, which is based in Atlanta. So I'm curious if you've studied some of your own behaviors and said, oh, that's why I did that. Um, I mean, you know, obviously everybody goes to meetings all the time where, you know, they're not really sure what the right thing to say is, but, you know, when someone says something that sounds intelligent and everyone's like, hmm, yeah, that mm -hmm. sounds good, mm -hmm. then, you know, you'd be inclined to say, yeah, that sounds good mm -hmm. as well. Now, the professor here at, at Emory University is not the one that has published this new research that just came out today in, in the journal. That's correct, and he said it's a very good study, and in his own research, he actually looked at problems where people had to decide on uh, d different shapes, whether they're similar, and there is a right or wrong answer to that if, you know, a square looks like another square. Mm -hmm. And what he found was that, again, people actually shifted their views to go with the majority of people in the room. So is there anything that we can take away from this? Are we supposed to conform? Or are we supposed to stand by what we believe in and be that one outsider that people are saying, well, I don't know about that one? Um, yeah, and actually, you know, uh, a famous researcher, Solomon Ash, said that the, there is a lot of power in being the minority of one, that if there is a group where you know everybody seems to agree, but there is one person who says, no, this is incorrect, mm -hmm. then that group is substantially weakened. So I guess the takeaway message is that if you feel very strongly about something, you know, stick with it and, and voice your opinion and see where that goes. It's okay to be that dissenting vote. Sure. All right. Thanks so much. Again, if you'd like to learn more about this, uh, Elizabeth Landau's research is on our website. There it is right there. You'll find it on the health pages of CNN.com. Go to the main page, CNN.com, and click on the health icon. You can learn more about this research just published today. Again, the neuroscience of conformity. Fascinating. Thanks, Elizabeth. Thank you very much.